Dr. Gunn Lowry is an economics professor at Brown University, Doctor, which means he's really smart, okay? So listen to this guy. Dr. Lowry, thanks for being here, sir. So I, I want to talk to you a little bit about what's going on with race in America. You know, this whole ish idea of, of white privilege, is it real? Is it still around? And who's to blame? And how do we fix it if there is a blame? Well, uh, that's, a big, uh, that's a big question. Uh, white supremacy... Uh, white privilege, uh, this is the way they're talking now. They are uh, on a roll. They, they are um, uh, creating a narrative. And the narrative is that any deficit or disparity is due not to the people who may be in the situation, but it's due to this force that's mystical and that's in the air called white supremacy. Uh, that's what I think is happening. I think it's a rhetorical move. I think um, the uh, real problems on the ground uh, depends on what you're talking about, if it's crime and punishment and incarceration, if it's uh, achievement gap in education, if it's wealth disparity in terms of uh, economics and finances. The real problems have to do with the uh, productivity and the behavior of people, not with the atmosphere or this mystical force uh, that uh, people are labeling white supremacy. So is there an economic basis for this? And tell us about the economics of race, if you don't mind. I know this is a big topic, but, you know, just give us a, a condensed version of your thoughts on it. <laughs> yeah, it's a very big topic. Um, discrimination, that would be one of the first things you'd think. The people are not getting paid or rewarded to the, uh, the uh, uh, value of the goods that they have to offer because of their race being treated differently, opportunities being blocked. This is the kind of thing people talk about. Uh, wealth disparity, uh, accumulation over time, the legacies of slavery, the uh, you know consequences of Jim Crow and things of this kind. These are the sort of things that people talk about. Uh, what I would say is economics is economics. There's no real economics of race. Uh, what I would say is the main issue is open society, markets, opportunity, people being able to come to a country from anywhere, build their lives, property, security of law, rule of law. Uh, these are the things that are fundamental and they transcend your racial group. If you've got those conditions, any group can uh, prosper uh, if it will uh, put its nose to the grindstone. We talk about discrimination uh, in economics. It, it, is, it, is there still discrimination in economics in, in American society in our markets right now? Okay, if I say no to that, I will not be able to go out of my home uh, safely or visit my family and friends back in Chicago. Black people believe in discrimination. I have to say that there is still discrimination. Here's what I really want to say. There's always going to be discrimination. There's, no, there's never been a world in which there hasn't been discrimination. There have been many groups. There have been many groups discriminated against. I could, I could list them. I could name them. So, yes almost by uh, definition, there's discrimination against black people. Is it the defining or a defining issue of the condition of African Americans? Does it constitute a constraint on the possibility of us to achieve all that America has to offer? To that question, I would say no. No, it doesn't define the experience of African Americans. It's not an everyday, relentless, all-encompassing uh, constraint on what people can do. Um, and it shouldn't be thought of that way, although too often it is. All right, I get to steal. Uh, they're telling me I gotta. We're running up against a break. But I'm gonna steal another minute for very, very concisely. So, should there be reparations? I'm gonna have to say no to that. Um, was there offense? Yes, there was offense. Slavery was an offense. Were people deprived of property? Yes, they were. Has it got present-day effects? Probably. We are the United States of America. 300 million people strong. Black people should not set ourselves up as a separate group across the bargaining table from the rest of the America and uh, engage in some kind of settlement. That's bad for the country and in the long run it would be bad for black people too. So is there an injury? Yes. But let's move on and build a country for everybody. Let's not set up these uh, bargaining games between black people and the rest of America. Dr. Laurie, appreciate your time. Thank you very much. You got it. You bet. Bye.